Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this tutorial, we will create our first custom object. Now, as I mentioned to you earlier, object is nothing but a table inside of Salesforce. We don't call it as a table, we call it as a object and just like a table, it has its columns, object has its fields. So the columns are basically called as fields and the table is called as an object inside of Salesforce. Now there are different ways of creating an object. So the first way that you can create an object is through object manager. So object manager is a place that you can create your custom object. And the other way that you can create is you through schema builder. If you remember, we have looked at the schema builder, which gives you a quick overview of all the different uh, objects that are there and their relationship. That was the schema builder. And there's another place that you can create is through the ob uh, object manager. Now, in this tutorial, we will create our first custom object, which is the position object. Now, the position object is basically to keep an account of all the different positions that are available and these positions can be in different statuses some of these positions might be in open status some of the might positions might have been closed and all of that information will be tracked using fields so in the next tutorial we will work on its custom fields that we will be creating for the position object but for this tutorial we will only create our position object just like that and whenever you create an object, the first, there is a field that you have to, you have to also create is the record name, which is basically the identifier of this object. And that this field can be only of two types. Either it can be an auto number, which is basically will be, if you keep adding records, it will automatically will be incremented, the value of this. And then the other way is a text field. So let's say for the purpose of this object, we will going to create a record name field as a text field. So let's go to the object manager and create our position object. So I'm going over to the Salesforce and uh, here I will go to the setup and over to the left I will see object manager. So through this object manager I will create my custom object. So here I'm going to click on create custom object and it is asking me the name for your object. So the name would be called as position that's the name and then the plural label I will call it as positions that's going to be the plural label and then the object name is basically is the API name so the object name is used when referencing the object via the API so if you wanted to do something through the code or anything you have to use this object name rather than this one even though both of them are same but this object name will have underscore underscore C at the end and you'll see it in a minute and the record name. So basically this is the number one field that automatically gets added when you create a object and this field can be of one of the two types either can be a text field or it can be an auto number. So just for the position we are going to leave it as a text field and I will change it from position name to I'll call it as position title. Basically the what's the position for is it a salesforce developer position is it a salesforce admin is it a ba position open or things of that nature so this particular field will track of the will keep track of the name of the title of the position that is open now do you want this object to be allowed in reports we want to create activities i want to do the track field history i want to allow it in the chatter group so i'm going to click on all of these optional features and then if you scroll, it's asking you object classification. So by default, what these three are selected. So I'm going to leave it as it is deployment status. I'm going to leave it as default to deploy. If you want this to be enabled for search, then you can click on allow search here. I'm going to leave it default set to no. Uh, I want to create a custom tab for this object. So I'm going to choose this second option here. So that way, if I want to come directly to the position, then I can go ahead and click on the tab and I can open up my position object and then hit the save. Now, the next thing it's going to ask me is the style for the tab. So I'm going to choose whichever style you want. Let's say I want to put a computer and then hit the next button and uh, which 
all the profiles will have visibility to this tab. So I want all of these profile to have the visibility. And if you want to choose or if you want to change it, you can change it. Let's say I want only some profiles to have some uh, access and the rest of them have a different kind of access. Then you can choose one of these options. You can hide it. You can default off. You can default on. Since uh, for this purpose, I'm going to leave it as default on for all the profiles, which means that all of these profiles, whoever has these profiles would be able to see the position tab and then hit the next here. Now, I only want to include this tab in one application, which is the recruiting application, the one that I created. So that's the only application I want this tab to be automatically added. So if go ahead and select that and hit the save button. If you want the tab to be available as part of sales application or any of that, then you can choose the sales application and then select the sales. If you wanted to make it available for light uh, for the service, then you can choose the service application, etc. So whichever application you want this tab to be part of, then you're going to go ahead and add that. Now we only want this tab to be available under the recruiting. So I'm going to select the recruiting. We're going to select this recruiting one. Okay. Hit the save button. So this is how you've created your first custom object. So now if you go over to the recruiting, you will see that this is the recruiting application and you will see that this application automatically has the position tab. Now, if you want to add this position tab before reports and dashboard, then where you can do, you can go over to the app manager and you can change it. So if I wanted to go ahead and uh, want to change the order of the tabs and I'll go to the app manager and then from the app manager, I will choose the app that I want to edit. So here I'm going to choose the recruiting application and then over to the right, there is a edit next to it. I'm going to choose edit here. And then from here, there is an option of navigation items. So I wanted to go ahead and move this position after the home. So this is going to be the order. So now the home tab would be there, then the positions and reports and dashboards. So now if I go here, if we refresh it, you will see that the position tab has been moved. And currently this position has only one field. This is the record name field that we created and it's a text field. And this is always going to be required automatically. Now, if you wanted to see how the, the standard list of field that are there, so you can go over to the gear icon and there is a direct way edit object and it will take you over here, which will give you the information about the position object. This is the API name. So if you wanted to do anything related to the object, you have to use this underscore underscore C. And then these are the fields that are available. So these are the system fields that automatically get added when you create any kind of object. And then this is the record name field that we have created. Now this is how you create a custom object. Now this particular object right now only has one field, which is the position title besides the system fields. Now in the next tutorial, we are going to take a look at all the custom fields that make sense for this position object and how to add those fields. We'll take a look at it in the next tutorial. So I'll see you then. Thank you.